We haven't won the war yet. There's a real counterinsurgency out there. And we have to stamp it out. And we need more forces. There are not enough forces there. Mr. President, do not send more troops. It would have the exact opposite impact you intend. What I have said is that I do think we need more troops. You did not go into Iraq with enough troops to establish law and order. Hillary, Hillary, you have it all wrong. Rather than escalation of U.S. troops, which I do not believe will contribute to long-term success in Iraq, we should begin a phased redeployment of U.S. troops as a way to put pressure on the Iraqi government to take responsibility for its own security and future. When we send our young men and women into harm's way, we have a solemn obligation not to fudge the numbers or shade the truth about why they're going and to never, ever go to war without enough troops to win the war, secure the peace, and earn the respect of the world. With Senator Obama, I personally indicated that an escalation of troop levels in Iraq was a mistake. We need more troops on the ground. We have a responsibility now in Iraq there, and we have to get more troops on the ground. One of the biggest mistakes we've made is we have not put enough people on the ground in Iraq to stabilize the brewing chaotic situation that now exists and foments and insists the insurgency. Secretary Rumsfeld ignored warnings from top military experts that success in Iraq would require four more troops. Those responsible for planning this war were not prepared for the reality on the ground, and many of our soldiers have paid the price. If the commanders on the ground said this is just for one short period of time, we'll go along with that. What's wait going on? Wait, 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 I guess that escalating our military involvement in Iraq sends precisely the wrong message, and we oppose it. I think.